Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to do the oracle card spread here, and then there's always a full tarot card spread extension. That link is in the description box below, which includes a romance prediction. These predictions, these energies are for the next seven days out. So wherever Libra influences your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, wherever Libra influences your chart, you can take these energies for the next seven days and apply them. If it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. Don't want to force anything that doesn't belong. Libra. Why is it? There's your crowning energy, crowning energy. Wow, we have a big message for you this week, Libra. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I love you, Buzzy Bear. My little bear, she's so cute. Okay, Cat Spirit, claim your independence, time to collaborate. Have you been feeling pulled between two extremes, Libra? Which is very interesting for you, isn't it? Because you're the almighty balancer. But there has been a little bit of a conflict, hasn't there? Being able to balance one from the other. Your sense of self with the sense of you are being with somebody else. Maybe you're just getting into a new relationship or discovering that your relationship is growing deeper or you want to get into a relationship but you're afraid that you're going to lose yourself or... There's some sort of partnership that you feel like you're going to get swallowed alive in or you fear that you're going to get swallowed alive in, that your newfound independence is going to get lost in. Well, this is the energy that's crowning you this week. So for the next seven days, there is a struggle between who you are and how you are with others. But remember, when you really know who you are, it doesn't get lost with others. It gets amplified by others. It gets, it gets, um, it, it gets a sort of melded with others. You know, it's like when the sugar and flour go into a recipe, they don't cease being themselves. They are themselves and then they mold together to make something new that, that the heat and the alchemy creates. So if you're really with the right amount and the right ingredient and the right amount of the other ingredients, there's no need to worry about collaboration, but there is a sense of being torn between how you feel about yourself and almost wanting your freedom because Kat is a very free spirit, somebody who likes other people to worship and adore them, but they also like to be free. And so you ought, maybe that's the, that's the rub. Either you or you've met somebody that you really want to be with, but you also still want to be single. This is a sense of you struggling with what you might have to give up in order to be with somebody or work with somebody else because it doesn't have to be a romantic tie. This is some sort of partnership. Um, here's, here's the thing. Here's how you gauge the quality of the partnership. Do you feel like it's swallowing you whole? Do you feel like you're losing yourself? If you've just discovered your sense of self and there's a, a new partnership on the horizon, and you fear you're going to lose yourself, choose yourself. Because that means your sense of self isn't strong enough to be able to withstand. In other words, it's not that you don't have a wonderful, a wonderful self. It's that your sense of self, your, your ability to remain who you are, even in conjunction with somebody else, is still something that you're too willing and too easily sacrifice. So Libra, be prepared to have this conflict this week, a feeling like, but if I get involved, will I lose all that I've worked for on me? The simple answer to that question is that maybe you're not ready for a relationship yet. If you're worried about being swallowed alive, it could, it doesn't mean that you haven't met the perfect person. It means that you're not in the perfect spot right now. You're, you're not the perfect person yet. No, 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 no. I know we're never the perfect person, but you don't have a firmly established sense of self. You still need more time by yourself, with yourself, caring about yourself, thinking about yourself. You still need more time. And I think that that's fair, don't you? So expect this week, this crowning energy of the, this, uh, of whatever your, yeah, the atmosphere that you're living in, especially emotionally and mentally, feeling pulled or torn between, do I want to be? in conjunction with somebody else or do I want to be who I am and basically really this week is a wonderful learning opportunity to 
start to learn how yourself really works in conjunction with somebody else so that you don't have to give up and lose yourself that that like okay you know how 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 at least now i can think about it maybe i'm not ready to jump into it but at least now i can think about well if i were with somebody else how would myself be demonstrated like how how would that mean and it's an interesting question for you this week like i said you have a big reading so let's get into it slow and steady wins the race take your time so this doesn't mean this doesn't mean don't do it it means stop 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 doesn't mean don't do it remember what do we do at a stop sign we pause we stop at a stop sign we stop to do what to, to to take in more information right look left look right look right left again right that's we stop we don't stop to stay there we don't stop to turn back we don't stop to build a fucking condo and never move on right we stop to take in more information and so that's this mentality of being emotionally mature an emotionally mature mentality of yes yes Turtle has its shell, but he's sea turtle, right? He's swimming free. Sea turtles don't retract inside their shells and hide like a tortoise does. A sea turtle has this protective cover, but basically what is it? It's he takes his home wherever he goes because he's learned how to be at home with himself and the right amount of defensiveness. He doesn't like a crab scurry around the bottom of the ocean. No, he swims. He swims fluently, like happy. This is this is healthy cancerian energy of having the shell that's actually a part of who you are. It's not separate from who you are. It's a part of who you are. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not something that you have to shed. It's it's who you are. It's how you've learned to set a nice boundary, but a boundary that is appropriate so that it doesn't it doesn't weigh you down. You know what I'm saying? So this is take your time. Feel good about who you are and where you are and like the tortoise in the hair, enjoy your moment and take in what you can get out of these next 7 days without any prejudice or expectation. Slow and steady wins the race. It really does. If you're focused on the joy of the race, that's what really makes you a winner no matter who crosses the finish line first because you're enjoying every day of where you are. So with this mentality, go about these next seven days, Libra, of don't feel this pressure of, well, I have to choose me or them, me or me with them. No, just enjoy the beauty of everything that you're experiencing right now. Maybe a new person, maybe a new partnership, this wonderful sense of self that you're nurturing and building. Enjoy all of it simultaneously. Let it all happen. Don't make any decisions and don't expect. See the big picture. Be grounded, but also be a high enough above to look forward and look out into the distance. This is, you do want to have a little bit of foresight, not to rush to it and not to live in it, but basically so you know how... So you know if that ground stays firm beneath your feet. You want that firm ground to stay beneath your feet. And I think that that's what you're doing. You're looking out to see, am I going to run into sand ahead? Is there a cliff that's going to drop off ahead? Does it look like rocky and steady terrain? You want to know, and that's, that's the stop sign, right? It's not, I'm not going to continue. It is, all right, let me assess the situation. Let me look ahead of me so that I can set myself up for success today. This is also Taurus energy. It's a very gentle energy. It's a very beautiful energy. It's a very kind energy. And it's a very, um, it's a capable energy that doesn't move fast unless it has to. And it can, like giraffes can book. I mean, you, it, it surprised me actually to watch a giraffe run because I was like, what an awkward animal. How can they run? They can run. They really can, but they don't do it often. Why? Because they don't have to. And that's a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a big animal. Mostly, they just, they just pay attention to the tops of the trees, and they enjoy their life, and they're very gentle creatures. So it's not that you don't have the capability. This isn't a judgment call on your capability. This is a statement of enjoy this moment. Be here now. And also look out for the future. You can do them both at the same time. 
watch and wait. You have so many push pause. You have so many cards that say, hey, look at the big picture, look around. Now this could be a warning, but I have to say it's a very nice warning. It's a very kind warning, but what the warning is, is you need more information. Libra, before you decide to jump into something new, you need more information. This is another water sign card. This is a father energy. This is, that's like seahorses, Piscean energy, but it's also father energy because everybody knows that fathers nurture, that father, father seahorses are the ones that carry the young and give birth to them. So... This is, this could have to do with your father. Maybe your father's recently given you a warning or given you a statement saying, watch, stop. I, I don't like the situation. Or maybe it's just this energy of be patient here. There's no need to rush. This is look, pay attention. How do you feel? So this is assessing the pragmatic, assessing what you see. And this is assessing the emotion. What do you feel? intuitively Libra you are a very psychic sign what is it that you feel can you listen to your gut please listen to your gut how do you feel what is what is it making you feel if it's making you feel tense if it's making you feel uncomfortable why would you proceed in the direction why you don't have to you can actually hang out and pause and keep taking in more information you have the right and I think that that's what it's saying you have the right to assess this situation for as long as you need and stop thinking about what somebody else needs. Be here now. This is Aries energy, brave and bold, putting on the Ritz. Maybe it helps you to put on a little bit. This is a very glamorous card. So this is starting from the outside, putting on that glamour to affect and maybe make you feel fierce on the inside. Dress yourself up, doll yourself up, start off the new year with a bang, Libra. Let everybody know just how hot cha cha you are, but walk in with confidence. What do you need? See, this is a very flashy energy, but it's it's a four. Do you see that? Isn't he pretty? Hey, cutie. It's a very flashy energy, but it's also a wonderful balance of white and black, which are two innate natural extremes, right? So there's a solidness here. There's a firmness here. There's a solidity here that suggests glam yourself up to help yourself settle. Not settle for a circumstance, but settle your emotions, settle your sense of self. Like, like I should stop using settle, firm up or solidify. Those are the things. I don't want you to settle. I want you to Feel yourself, your sense of self firmly before you make any decisions. And until you do, like let that be the benchmark for when you're ready to move in another direction. Is do you feel, what do you feel? Do you feel solid? Spirit has your back. You're protected. You're divinely guided. The spirits are talking to you all the time. You're getting messages all the time. But it's also, in, in the sense of the 3D world, um, the law has your back. This could be you finally getting a divorce or finally settling a lawsuit against somebody and the settlement comes down in your favor, Libra. This could be you, um, you know, being listened to finally, excuse me. Ugh. <clears throat> <sighs> I apologize. I know that was not the el most elegant of sneezes. <laughs> but when you got this kind of hunker, it doesn't happen that way. So this is just saying that um, this is also Capricornian energy, right? So it says look to the future. Be prepared. Be prepared for the future. So what do you need to do to prepare for the future? A, you need to be honest with yourself. B, you need to roll up your sleeves. And C, you need to have a connection, a firm connection to spirit, a firm connection to your intuition and trust it. Trust it to guide you. It also means get ready to work. Get ready to work hard and be relentless. This is 23. This is the energy of change. But this is practiced change. This is pedantic change. This is 3D change. So like the earth moves very slowly, so does this kind of change. So this is long-term change. Long-term change in you, long-term change in a long-term change in who you are and how you feel about yourself, 
or a question of, do you really want to make this long-term commitment? Be loyal to what you love. Wow. So no pressure, right? No, but this is really a, a great energy. It's a beautiful energy. It's loyal to who you, to, it's, it's true loyalty. It's unconditional loyalty and friendship and fealty. Um, this is somebody or something or you being completely and totally devoted. So, but I still think you're being completely and totally devoted to, you're being called to be devoted to who you are. Um, this is also somebody breaking through and having your back, uh, where it could have been a struggle or could have been a fight, uh, people seeing your true nature and your true value. Um, uh, this actually could have been loyalty called into question at one point, Libra. Sometimes life stings. So yeah, I knew that because I was looking at the other cards. Loyalty could have been called into question. And I feel like the story is your loyalty has been called into question, question and you still feel guilty about it. So this is a sense of have you just left a long-term commitment or have you decided to not get into a long-term commitment when somebody expected you to? This question is not just in romance. This question is in all aspects of your life because there is a sense of pain, a little bit of pain, not, not oh, heart gushing, but it stings. It stings and there's somebody who feels that you stung them or you feeling the pangs of feeling like somebody wasn't as loyal to you as they should have. Either way, there's a sense of that fealty being damaged or compromised and the pain, the pain of that compromise. And that's what it is. And it could have been that somebody had contacted you or come after you or sort of acted out against you on the web and the internet, the World Wide Web, this feeling of somebody lashing out at you and making accusations online. Or being, it could have even been, because this could be Cancerian energy, so this could be a very passive aggressive energy where they're making innuendos at you or you know, taking those little stabs at your character without just coming straight out and saying it. Okay. Um, and this is your grounding energy, a combination of clear out the clutter. This is also Cancerian. I don't know if you're dealing with Cancerian, but this is definitely that energy of clashing, I think, a little bit with that North Node, of what that North Node is trying to teach us. Not like not really being able to separate, well, how do I take care of others and, and how do I nurture others and how do I improve my home situation when I'm not happy there and it doesn't fit me? Well, then it doesn't fit you. The home has to be appropriate to you. It has to be your home. Right? So this is a sense that grounding energy, what's going to really help you is what do you give away? What do you relinquish? What do you let go of in order to grow? Um, and be at home. What was I just talking about? Oh, damn, that hits home big time. It just came out blatant. Be at home. Be at home and clear out the clutter and time for a beginner mind. All of this is your grounding energy, that sense of you really need to make a shift in your home. Your home, clearly something in, in your home was causing you to feel upset, was causing, you, was, was causing you to not feel at home, to not feel comfortable. This is you rebuilding, like live, leaving what you were comfortable with and setting up shop and rebuilding a home somewhere else. This is the rebuilding of your house. Not, could be literally, but it, it also is more sort of emotionally, psychologically, socially. Uh, this rebuilding of your home space, this is your heart chakra of what really works for you and having to get rid of the things that don't, even if it's painful and somebody else is pissed at you. And then sitting here saying, well, this is what time I start over. This is where I start over and I start over fresh. I start over without being heavy and bogged down and, and sort of hurting and, and, and not feeling at home where I'm supposed to feel at home. Do you remember that statement of Tyler Perry's Medea? She said, if you cannot, as Medea, he said, um, if you can't be at peace in your own home, when you walk into your own house, if you cannot be at peace, then something's wrong and something's got to go. And that's the mentality. Something's wrong and something's got to go. Even if it hurts, even if it's painful, even if you're getting those side eyes and accusations from people who are angry with you. Listen, this is a time to understand that North Node in Cancer and understand what it's really trying to teach us. 
Is your home a place that you're really nurtured, that you, not only that you're nurturing, but that you're nurtured in? Have you been taking care of yourself? Because this is the most highly evolved Cancerian energy in the deck. And it's like, home is where you are. Home is where you belong. Have you built a home that you feel good in? Have you? Have you, have you, have you? And are the people around you collaborating or are they leaving it all up to you to do it? Well, I'm gonna extend this reading. I didn't flip the cards around. You don't really need me to flip the cards around. That's okay. I'm going to extend the reading. We're going to do the full tarot card spread on top of this. See what else comes out. And included in that, we're going to also go into romance. Libra, I'll see you there.